HDW coming to you live once again, ladies and gentlemen, with another review. This time, it's not a video. It's a video game. I was on the internet, playing around on YouTube Friday night, and I was looking up why there wasn't another Ghostbusters 3 movie. Come to find out, it was creative differences between Bill Murray and Dan Aykroyd. The two went back and forth, blah, 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 blah. You can find a video for that on YouTube if you look hard enough. Basically, if you're looking for a third movie, this is it. This is the third movie in video game form. And it's really awesome because all the stars of the first movie, Bill Murray, you know, uh, Dan Aykroyd, Harold Ramis, and Ernie Hudson reprise their roles. The voiceovers are great, and you swear to God that they were, you know, it was the third movie. This game is like a love letter to Ghostbusters fans because it does feature all the ghosts that made the first and second film great. If you go on the internet, you can see gameplay footage. <clears throat> and you can even slide down the fire pole like Ray did, Dan Aykroyd's character in the first film. What I like about this game is it's not cheesy, it's not stupid, and it's not a blatant attempt to get money. It is actually a very decent game. And my buddy Justin actually told me, he said, well, what can a kid, you know, 13, 14 play? And I told him, Burnout. But, to be honest, this game is way better than Burnout. And uh, the story is pretty awesome. It takes place after the first movie, or the second movie, I'm sorry. Where there's an interdimensional rift, the containment unit breaks, and before you know it, before you can blink your eyes, you are actually, you know, in familiar places. The first board's the Sedgwick Hotel. People familiar with the first film will remember that. That's where you capture Slimer. And you know what? It's fun bringing down a chandelier. You know? But you play as a new recruit, and there is no time wasted in getting you, you know, accustomed to your proton packs, your traps, your PKE meters, all of which are very fun. The upgrade system in this game is very easy to do. You know, for as much property as you damage, you get money. The money you just use in your in game menu, you can upgrade at any time, which is pretty sweet. Second board has you chasing after the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man which I will show you there. Fans of the first film will love this because it actually recreates the tail end of the movie where the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man climbs up the building. You also get to follow him as he trashes New York and watching him splatter on the streets is a <laughs> is a pretty awesome sight, especially on a 65 inch TV. I ain't saying nothing. Um, you also get to meet the librarian ghost at the New York Public Library Board. That is a pretty cool board. Everything ties into each other. You also get to meet new characters, such as the Demonic Fisherman. You get to meet the Collector. Which, if you pay attention to the game, the Librarian Ghost and the Collector have a history. It's not a very good one, but they do. To show you how in tune with this game is with the franchise, you even get to interact in the firehouse with the painting of Vigo. And if you didn't see the second movie, you're missing out. Vigo is pretty awesome. Like I said, this film or this game is a very cool love letter to the fans. If taken for a third movie, if we can't have that, I'd play this all weekend. The uh, it has a lot of lore with Zool, and actually all the supporting cast is back to the mayor, the guy that played Walter Peck, you know, the guy that wanted to shut down the Ghostbusters. You know, Annie Potts is back to replies her role as Janine, and it's pretty cool. So recommend this game to anybody. Y'all should check it out. GW out.